Well, we're here today at Ibby's Mediterranean Restaurant in the Mid-State Mall, and I'm with Chatel Shah, the co-founder of Ibby's. And um, first, I'd like to thank you for being part of the East Brunswick program. The reward program is something that we started this year as a way of rewarding uh, residents for shopping in small stores that are in the town and receiving a property tax credit for that or a rebate check if they rent. And, uh, and, and on the flip side, a way of promoting your businesses and providing you with uh, the opportunity to have more business. And so first, so thank you. And maybe start out by just talking a little bit about where you're located and your hours of operation. Oh, Brad, we're located in the uh, Mid-State Mall at uh, next door to ShopRite. We're open from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily, Monday through Sunday. Uh, been about 10 months so far, and uh, it's been a great uh, experience so far being a part of East Brunswick. That, that's great. Maybe talk a little bit about um, the, the store itself, the restaurant, the, um, the type of food that you're serving, and, and a little bit about the background of Ibby's itself. It's quite interesting. So Ibby's is a partnership uh, with a Lebanese family, the Kawara family. Um, they've been doing this since 1971, started out in the West Village of New York City. And they separated about 25 years ago. There were two sides of the family. And uh, the one side had come into Jersey City and began trading as Ibby's Falafel. Um, Ibby's Falafel has been in uh, existence uh, for about 22 years now. And my background is coffee. Right, so I had an idea of bringing good food and good coffee together. The kind of stuff that we serve at Ibby's is all fresh, it's all local. Uh, we specialize in falafel, hummus, baba ganoush, kebab, shawarma, a big emphasis on lamb products, but not only that, we have a big emphasis on being gluten-free, vegan, and very vegetarian friendly. All of our cook processes are separate, so there are no cross-contaminated grills between the vegetarian and non-vegetarian sides. Great, and I think you carry that theme of being uh, responsible uh, consumers and uh, the products themselves are all served on trays and uh, napkins and spoons and stuff that all are biodegradable. I think that's right. uh, an important thing that you might yeah. want to mention. So everything that we do over here is all locally conscious, right? Not only that, it's environmentally conscious, right? So all of our paper products, the packaging, is uh, compostable, right? Um, the paper products company that we deal with is right here in East Brunswick. The architect that designed this restaurant is in East Brunswick, right? The sourcing of the product is all local. So to local to us has a definition of about 300 miles in terms of the produce, right? So we try to go to the source as close to the source as possible, but the broader definition of local also means supporting the community, right? Our accountant is local, our architect is local, 50% of our employee base is local, right? So when you came out with the property tax card, it was something that you know excited us because now it gives us another extension of giving back, right? So consumers are helping us, they come in, they get a re rebate back. But not only that, those dollars that they spend with us helps us pay the local employees, helps us pay the local paper products company, exactly. helps us pay the local fees on the architect, right, and our accountant. Exactly. So it all works together. Of small businesses exactly. and why we want to uh, right. to, to support them. Uh, I know that uh, when you were looking for different locations, you had a lot of opportunities to go many different places. Oh yeah. Mana, talk a little bit about why you chose East Brunswick. East Brunswick is very central in New Jersey, but not only that, the demographics itself attracted us. You know, the Mediterranean encompasses almost 21 different regions, right? And everyone has a little bit of taste from every little region. You know, some East Mediterranean does things different than West Mediterranean, but the idea is the diversity of the area. And we wanted a community that had diversity, that represented that diverse uh, community. And East Brunswick, when we kind of pinned it on the map and looked at the location, said how close it is to Route 18, how close it is to Exit 9 on the Turnpike, how close it is to Route 1. I mean, this is a major, major community, a major center point, right? And the demographics work perfectly with it. So, you know, once we saw the location in East Brunswick, we were sold on it. That's great. Yeah. And um, obviously, I'm here frequently myself. Yes. And <laughs> at the end of the day, uh, it still also boils down to the food itself, right. which is excellent. And um, so I appreciate your being part of our community. You're welcome here. Thank you. And thanks for being part of the program. And we wish you absolutely the most success.
Oh, we love being here, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Thank thanks. You.